Charles, this week we learned that a very beautiful athlete, a woman from Houston, Brittany Griner, was, mo was moved by the Russian government to a penal colony in Russia to serve her nine-year sentence. And I believe that Brittany is a political prisoner, and she's only in prison, Charles, because the American government is not willing to give the Russians what they want. Biden's administration, to me, is very weak on foreign policy and dealing with America's enemies. And therefore, Russia believes that they can push the Biden administration around when it comes to releasing Brittany Griner. But we in Houston need to do more in fighting for that young woman's freedom. So she was sent to a regime colony, which is the harshest type of prison for women. They're forced to wear a uniform and a headscarf every day. They can have no personal belongings. They spend a long time in their cells. It's horrifying. But her sentence is on par with people that were charged with similar crimes in Russia, where they take drugs very, very seriously. I, I think it is a horrifying failure by the Biden administration and Blinken. And Biden made a comment just this week saying that now that the midterms are over, we're hopefully we can get something done. But he made that comment despite the Russian government demanding silence in the negotiations. So he has probably set it further back. She's been locked up for 10 months. This is a Houstonian. I remember the first time I met her, she is as tall as me. She's six foot eight, probably the greatest female basketball player in the history of the sport. And she is suffering over there. But this war on drugs, we have people locked up not for THC for that long, but we have people, we do in Mississippi, someone serving life in, for, uh, for marijuana Under over the there. old drug but laws, yes. we've got yes. to end the drug war here before we can start acting like we have this higher ground to lecture but Russia. Let's, but let's keep the focus on Britney in this discussion. Okay. Because Britney is a political prisoner, Charles. And what the Russian government is not saying and why they want silence in the negotiations is because America offered them a Russian prisoner, the merchant of death, an arms dealer for exchange for Britney, but they don't want that. What the Russians want, they're not saying they want the Biden administration to commit and agree to stop sending weapons to the Ukrainians that are in a war right now with the Russians. And if we right here in America demand that the American government stop sending Ukraine, stop sending Ukraine weapons to fight and kill Russian soldiers, and in that agreement we can bring Brittany home, then we can bring her home. At the end of the day, we as Americans cannot be the world police department. Okay, cannot the be the world is, police the force. Thing is, we can't the, get in everybody's this, war. The, the Putin administration clearly is using her as a pawn, but there's nothing to suggest the initial arrest was political motivated. She brought drugs that are illegal in Russia into Russia and were arrested for it. I hope she is released. I hope they are able to obtain her freedom. But we have other Americans that are also locked up in Russia for similar crimes that no one is talking about. And if we as a country are going to take the moral high ground on the issue of marijuana, maybe we should stop throwing so many people, especially African American men, in this country, I agree in with prison, you. for I agree things with like you. marijuana. And that's we need why, to fix the problem over there why we and now fix the problem have at home. Drug reform laws in America that are taking place to where a lot of these brothers in Texas. who were sentenced, we'll get to that, who were sentenced unjustly in America on these federal mandatory minimum guideline sentences for drug possession. America does not have the moral authority to tell any country how to treat its prisoners. But we're talking wait, about wait, Britney. We're, we're the best we're country in the world. Hold on, that's we a lie. We need to fix some stuff. We, America we is still are, the best country are, in the world. We are the greatest country in power and might and economy in the world, but we sure as hell not the good country that we hold ourselves out to the world to be. Because everything that we condemn other nations for doing to their prisoners is happening right in American prisons and jails right now. You got one inmate a week dying in the Harris County jail right now, brother. You got inmates being raped, molested, and brutalized in American prisons and being starved so we can in agree American now, prisons right now. Let's end the war on drugs. I mean, you wanted to talk about just so Russia. So don't pretend that America okay. is so. Great is so good. Because yeah, America is the greatest country on this planet. And great don't make you good.